What's going on everybody? It's your boy Shadow Owner here. Now first off, I'd like to take a second to thank everybody who's been subscribing to me lately. We broke 50 subscribers before the end of January and that's absolutely amazing. Now today's video is a bit outside the norm for me as I'm not drifting, but I do like the idea of this video and if it does well, I'll do more. So I was scrolling through my Facebook feed the other day and I came across this video of Tom Walkinshaw piloting a V12 XJS Jaguar race car in a Bathurst qualifying lap. I realized that we had the street version of that race car in Forza 7. So I wondered how crazy of a build it would take to match his 2 minute and 18 second lap time. Now I will say there is a difference in the track from his recorded video to what we have in Forza because in Forza we have a kink down the back straight towards the end. Now in Tom's video it's completely straight from the downhill section all the way to the last corner. There is no kink in the back straight. Now I'd also like to note that when I recorded the clips for this video, I actually thought my lap time to beat was 2 minutes and 13 seconds. I ended up doing two more attempts than I actually had to do because I came pretty close the first run. However, if you guys want to see the video of Tom's lap, check out the Cruisers Gaming Facebook page which I have a link to in the description box below. And in the search box, search for the gamer tag Shadow XLX Hunter, and it should pop up and you'd be able to watch Tom's lap. And also you'd be able to interact with me there because I do share videos and I make posts there frequently. So to start things off, I did an A-Class 700 uh, PI build. Now I will say this car was quite the handful to play with. So let's take a look at this lap here. Now this is my third lap, my fastest lap that I was able to do. The brakes are absolutely horrid on this car. They just suck. They're, they do not exist. It's either locked up or it's they don't slow you down. And I will say it's probably due to the fact that this build has street tires on it and it's not running a race tire. So I'm not able to use the race brakes to their full potential. But here I am. I'm getting on the brakes early because again, like I just said, the brakes are terrible on this car. And you also have to be very, very careful on the exit of corners because this thing wants to slide all the time. Now coming into this tight hairpin here again, really, really early on the brakes. Very patient on the throttle so that way I don't, you know, do a nice burnout up the hill. <laughs> Close to the wall. Tuck in tight here so that way I can get a nice apex clip and head straight for the outside wall here. Now this one's kind of scary because you come in, you turn, and then you go up and over a crest and you're facing right back towards another wall. <laughs> And again, getting back on the brakes early so that way I can make this corner because the previous two laps I went out into the sand. Now getting on the brakes early again, like it, that's going to be a common theme here. I'm going to be getting on the brakes early a lot just because this is a very, very tight section and this car does not want to slow down. I, this, this downhill section is one of my favorite sections to drive because if you get it right, it's just super, super rewarding. Now I wanted to keep this tight in here so I can get a very, very nice clean exit and put all the power down as soon as possible. Now I'm going to charge down the back straight here, full throttle. We touch about 180 before that last little corner there. Heavy on the brakes as soon as we get around it. Trying to slow down for this corner here. And keep it trying a little tidy, a little bit too much. Kind of did a little tire drop off into the dirt there and almost, almost swallowed me up. Again, heavy under the brakes right here. Turning in for the final, wait, wait, power down. All right, here we go, final stretch here. We ended up running a two minute, 19 second lap. Which that's right where we wanted to be. Since I thought we had to beat a 2 minute and 13 second lap, however, I jumped the PI cap up 50 points to 750, and then I added even more horsepower and was able to throw race tires on here. Now, by even more horsepower, I mean this thing's now just shy of 650 horsepower, and with it being a previous handful, it's now even more of a handful. But we were able to use a little bit more of the race brakes because we now have race tires to have a little bit more grip.
you know, getting pretty light over that crest there again, as you know, the previous theme, getting on the brakes very, very early. Now I actually got on the brakes a little too much here and it actually responded better than I thought it was going to. So I almost went too, I almost cut the corner too tight, went into the grass. Again, now getting ready for this tight corner, keep it tight so that we can get on the power as early as possible. Again, keeping the tight here, clip the apex, get back on the power. Now I will say I did slow down a little bit more than I had to there because I was just a I was fearing I was gonna go face first into that wall. I didn't want to do that, so I kept it nice and tidy. Heavy on the brakes here, right under the Audi sign. Right for my favorite little dip there. Coming in for another apex. Getting prepared here for this nice tight corner again, keeping it nice and tight. Getting a nice good exit here all the way, power down. Now this thing is just blistering fast with 650 horsepower. Now I would like to note that this is my first attempt at commentating over a race. So I do apologize if it's a little rough. However, I can only get better with practice, so please be patient. Just about touching 190 to that last corner. Heavy on the brakes again. Now, I will say that I'm sure somebody else out there can run a faster time than me as I am not the fastest driver. There's tons for me to be worked on to get even faster in Forza, but I do enjoy running around. And I locked the brakes up here a little bit because, you know, they are a little touchy. Charging towards the finish line, cross the line with 2 minutes and 16 seconds. Now we're 2 seconds faster, about 2 seconds faster than Tom's lap, but again, I thought I was going to have to beat a 2 minute and 13 seconds, so I bumped the PI back up again, 50 points, now to 800 even, top of S class. Now I already maxed out the stock factory V12, so I swapped in the 6 liter V12. Gave all the horsepower I possibly could, so I was sitting about just shy of a thousand horsepower and increased the downforces all the way. Now this car is just absolutely silly at this point. So I thought I had to be even more careful with the you know the throttle last time. Now now it's just I can't I I think about touching the throttle and the car is spinning out of control. <laughs> Look at this thing climb speed. This thing gains speed so quickly. 170 over that crest there. Heavy onto the brakes. Keeping it nice and tidy through there. Again, a little bit tight, but that's kind of the nature of how I drive. Again, on the brakes with the hairpin here. Keeping it nice and tight. Oh, well, locked them up a little bit too late. Hugging this inside wall. Now it's just him struggling to put the power down, so wasn't able to keep it off the wall there. And again, understeer a little bit. It's kind of biting me there. Heading towards this back wall of death. Keeping it nice and tight. Now I didn't put, or I was pretty heavy on the brakes, so I wasn't slide out too much because now I was fearful of running into that wall. Same thing here. Kept a little bit slower than I could have just because I was fearful of running into the grass. Now heavy on the brakes into this uh, nice tight twisty downhill section here. Very, very, very tight against that wall. In for the dip. Power bound here to the back straight. Again, heavy onto the brakes, very, very nice. Trying to keep it nice and tidy here. Power down, let's go. Now this thing is just blistering fast. This thing was an absolute handful to try to keep calm under these corners. Almost 210 miles an hour into that back straight, right around the corner, heavy onto the brakes into this last few corners here. Trying to keep it straight. It's just this car is a wicked handful. Heavy onto the brakes into the last corner here, nice and tidy. Oh, too tidy. Almost went for a dirt drop there. And we're crossing the finish line. Two minutes and 12 seconds. Blistering fast. Smashing our two minute and 13 second goal and smashing Tom's time. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, smash that like button. Leave me a comment below if you have another 
car and lap combination in real life that you'd like to see me try to beat in the game. And as always, if you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.